is a big gallo. We're going to be looking at a property in Guglionesi. Um, it's actually probably five minutes from drive from Guglionesi on one of the roads that takes you to Termoli, to the back of Termoli. The view is just crazy. Wait until you see the views from so many different points of the house. Right here, I am standing on the front garden and that's the industrial area of Termoli and then behind is the sea. The property comes with 1.2 hectares there of are land. already olive trees, about 70 to 80, and then other fruit trees. The way I can describe this property is like a project. It's definitely not for someone that wants a move-in ready property, but someone that has kind of like a business mind and that has an idea of coming to Italy and doing something like a bed and breakfast or some kind of service like that. And the reason why I say that is because of the house size. So this is the house and it's about 700 to 800 square meters of house plus the land. Um, because the house hasn't been inhabited by a larger family for a long time, there is quite a bit to be done when it comes down to renovations, um, wiring and plumbing. Guglionesi is a stunning town in the region of Molise with a population of over 5,000 people and an altitude of 369 meters above sea level. Its history dates back to 435 BC. And as you walk around the historical center, you can admire its gorgeous stone buildings and cobblestone streets. You can walk around for hours as you visit its seven churches, admire the fantastic landscape from any of its lookouts, or just hang at a local restaurant or cafe with the locals. The position of Guglionesi is fantastic for those who prefer to be close to the sea, as the beaches of Termoli are only a short 15-minute drive, while still living in a place with a tight-knit community. This property is uh, mainly for someone that doesn't mind a project or that wants a project. The house at the moment is divided into two dwellings. So this part over here is part of one dwelling and then from the middle over there is part of a different dwelling. So even if there are a couple of families that want to take on this project, um, that's a good thing. Okay, so this is the entrance for one of the dwellings, this is the entrance for the second one, and the basement is down there, which I will show you towards the end of the video. Keep in mind that this house is to be completely renovated and it's a project. 
but the location and the view and the size of the land is fantastic so um, keep that in mind as we go through it okay so as we enter behind here we have the land room and there are two ways to access the land room through this door or through the door over there then over here we have the kitchen but um let's go over this way first let's turn right now we have our first bedroom and of that we have a terrace that wraps around that side of the house so we'll see that soon if we continue over here we're going to see a bathroom so this is the one bathroom on this floor let's call this the ground floor And from here, you have also a view of your land. If we continue over here, we're going to have our second bedroom. These rooms are very large, you guys. So in this house, there used to be about 16 people living. And that included the, the wife, the husband, the parents of both, the kids, the grandkids. So in those times, they decided to build very large houses to make sure that the family stayed with them. But times changed and then kids decided to go and move on to different places to bigger cities and then an older person is left with a huge huge house like this and pretty much just using one room of the house and the kitchen so it's too much for them to um, cope with We'll talk about that in a second. And here we have our third bedroom. And that was the chicken house that we saw before. Okay, so what happens here, um, and you will see this throughout the house, is that when the house was built, the person that was putting the tiles on, for what we're told, um, he left pockets of air, and then over time, the tiles started kind of popping. So if you see those space throughout, um, what we have been told is that if you leave the tiles, you're going to find very good concrete. You just need to repatch the areas. And when you put in the tile again, um, just do it properly and make sure that there are no pockets of air. And of course, you most likely are gonna want to change the tiles anyway for something um, that suits the house better and your, your tastes better. Now let's check out the living room and the kitchen. On that side, we're going to see again the wraparound balcony and I promise you we'll go there. You're going to want to see the view from there, which is pretty much the biggest selling point of this house besides um, the location 
and the size of the land. Remember that when we entered, we saw a door right in front of us? That's that door. So the land room area has a couple of entrances. And you have the doors to go to the terrace. One set of doors here, another one there, and then over here as well. Now let's check out um, the kitchen. Okay, so we enter the kitchen and dining area or has been used for the kitchen and dining area. The way she heats um, the house and the areas where she is, um, where she hangs around most of the time is with the fireplace. So you can see that. Now that's our balcony there, the one I keep promising. That's the door that we just came from and this is the kitchen. And over here, we have the front of the house. Looks like she's cooking something. She's making pastries or something. <laughs> and then we have like a pantry here. Oh, you guys, it's so windy outside. Now, I will go over there to show you the terrace. Okay, this is what I was talking about. So the land room area is right here. One entrance, second entrance. Third and four entrances perhaps. I oh, know, third entrance. And ah yeah, fourth entrance. If you enjoy our content, please consider supporting us on Patreon. From only $3.50 a month, you can help us continue to bring you the content you love. I will share the link in the description section of this video. Grazie mille! Okay, this is it for this portion of the property. Now let's go back to the front. Now let's go upstairs to the other apartment. Um, so we're back at the main entrance. The cantina is there. Our stairs are there. And then this is the other separate um, living quarters I was talking about. So over here we have a cantina down there, but we don't have the key. 
unfortunately let's just go to this area here this one has been empty longer and it looks like there may be some water coming from those windows but again you will be replacing the windows as well for something nicer and better for insulation up there there is an attic and this is the entrance to the second living quarters which is pretty much the same layout as the one downstairs over here we have ah they closed it oh no over here we have a terrace again with a gorgeous view look at this And this terrace again wraps around. They used to cook meat here. There's another room over here. We have another room there. The dining area and the kitchen used to be here so that door that we just saw there belongs to a room that can also be accessed from here Okay, so that's the room. That is where ages ago they used to have the heating system for the house. That door over there is part of the balcony that wraps around. This is another door for access to the balcony. Here we have another door for the balcony. And then we have a window with the view of the olive grove. Now, let's continue.
and this window faces uh, pretty much the side where the chicken coop is on. And then let's check out quickly. There's not much to see. Um, the attic. If you're still watching this video, it seems to me that you're pretty serious about purchasing a home in Italy. If you're ever in need of expert, independent legal advice and support at any stage of your property purchase process, we will be more than happy to refer you to a fantastic group of professionals we have been collaborating with. Just send us an email to rossiniandco at gmail.com. That's Rossini with two N's. Okay, let's go all the way down to the bottom to check out the garage and cantina. Okay, let's check out the cantina. So this is the lower floor. It's super big, the height it's, um, it's pretty good as well. We have the water tanks over there and look at the size of a tractor. So you can see in relation to everything else. And you have an entrance over there and there is also an entrance over there, at the other side. And Aiden is just coming from having looked at the house on the outside. Then we have like another room of it with ah with another entrance. So on this area we have like three or four entrances. Ah that's that's it. One here, one little one there, and another one over there. You can get um, your oil tanks as well, so you never run out of your olive oil supply and your preserves. So this place is so big that almost every preserve has its own room. Another room here. Okay, water tanks. <gasps> Look at the depth. It's like this a bowling alley. Yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> good entertaining um, space. And there's another room that we'll see just start off it. Okay, there's another room over here. It used to be the kitchen a long time ago and the mom of the signora that's showing us the house used to cook here it's a forno 
Ah, questo angolo. Sì, sì. Ah, wow. Ok. La luce è, 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 è buona. Sì, sì. Hai abbastanza finestre. Non ci sono cose oscure. Sì, no, non, non è oscuro. Thank you so much guys for watching this video. This property certainly is not for everyone. Someone who does a minor renovation project, someone that is perhaps thinking of having a business in Italy, of having something like a bed and breakfast because the location is fantastic. And again, as you could see, the views are just marvelous. Thank you so much again, and we'll see you next time. Ciao. Thank you so much for watching this video. We hope that you enjoyed it. As always, please let us know your thoughts in the comment section. Thank you so much to our patrons for their generosity, your extra support is really appreciated. For previous home tours and other services, please check our website. We have a lot more content for you to enjoy. If you would like to continue watching other home tours, please click here. If you would like to watch the videos of our own purchase and renovation story, click here. Please remember to like, comment and subscribe and we'll see you next time. Ciao!